What is going on travelers? Welcome back to the third episode of the beginner's guide where I teach you about flight. So let's go back to the cockpit. That was a scam. <laughs> let's go to the cockpit. You go to your quick menu and you go over here to switch your starship view and I'll make you from third person to first person. Now you can see the, you can kind of see the MFDs where you can kind of see your speed, where you can see the number decreasing from 66 to 65. And so on, if you go ahead and push whichever input that pushes your ship forward, and you can find this by going to the options menu like we were looking into last time during configuration. It's about, it's going about 154 units per second. That's how you read that menu. On the very, very left of the screen near the corner, you can see where the planet's name is and its coordinates that could be very helpful if you find something special that you want to share with your friends while you're flying and then looking over here on the right you can see the actual name of the ship and its shield the shield doesn't really work on this mfd but it works on your hud so the last one is your weapon that's currently displayed there which is your infra knife so we'll go over infra knife and about that in combat, but for now we're just going to focus on flight. So the reason why we're able to move forward is because I have my finger on the W key, which is the input for PC. Now, if you wanted to roll left, you would choose A. If you wanted to roll right, then you just choose D. But if you wanted to, hold on, give me, go ahead and give me a boost. So I'm going to go ahead and push shift, which gives me a boost. So you'll see it go up from... What it currently was, I think it was 154 and now to 264. So now if I wanted to break a little bit, then I'll just go ahead and push S and I should come down to about 20 units per second. Now, if you do have a Sentinel ship, that Sentinel ship will go all the way down to zero. It is not a glitch. That's just generally what the Sentinel ships do. They go all the way down to zero units per second, per second, oh, excuse me, <laughs> to the point where they're almost hover above the ground. The classic ships, I want to say all ships up until the Utopia Speeder cannot do that. Only the Sentinel ships do that, but I kind of digress within the ship flight. So now that you know the controls to fly, you need to know how to land. So when you do land on keyboard, it's E. First, you need to slow down to about 20 <laughs> units per second. And then once you find a stable surface to land at, you're going to go ahead and land. You'll see those arrows and you'll come down and the ship's landed. If you do want to take off, you'll push the button that you use to go forward and accelerate your speed. That's what lifts you off and you're out and about. You will you do have your radar in the middle that kind of shows you what's within your area. Like you can see a planet outside the, um, of the cockpit to over to the left, but that's also projected on the HUD as well. If there's something else like an incoming ship, that'll also show up as a little triangle. Let's see, am I forgetting anything other than, no, we went to quick menu. I'm going to talk about weapons and other things, like I said earlier, within combat. So the last thing we're going to do is you're going to want to boost. And you're going to fly up into the atmosphere. If you want to get to the other side of a specific spot on a planet, all you're going to really do is kind of focus. You know what? This would be a lot better if we could just focus on... A marker maybe we can go ahead and find a marker in here it's been a bit since I've been on this planet to find a portal actually no but this may be a perfect spot to go ahead and figure out whether or not we're on a system up oh, there it is right there so you see on the radar that there is a space station right about there somewhere over there because the HUD isn't up if you do want to put your HUD off or turn it back on you go to options you're gonna to go to general and you're gonna go over to HUD enable that and now the HUD's there. So you can see on the compass, there are tons of bases that we can use to kind of pulse jump to. So when you fly out of the planet or you need to fly over to another spot, you can go about this high and you'll be able to go there faster, but you can use pulse and this is how you use it. For those of you on PC, you're gonna push down the space bar and a little menu in the menu and a countdown should come up. Three, two, one, and you're now in pulse jump. If you need to do an emergency pulse jump or being scanned at this moment, hopefully that scan doesn't persist. And now we just pulse jumped and to our destination. Oh, and we got a traitor too. Looks like we cleared the cargo scan. That will happen sometimes. The Sentinels do scan your ship. 
Uh, we're not going to see what this guy wants. We're just going to keep going over to the space station and probably go in another direction. So a space station or any, well, right there, any freighter that you come towards will stop you mid pulse or at the end of your pulse jump. So if you wanted to go back to the planet, I believe it was, I believe it was this one. We'll go back here. Actually, no. Now that we can see the marker, you see that marker that's highlighted on the top. Yes, that is the portal that we came from. It'll have the planet that we originally flew from so we can fly back. This does not support HOTAS for those of you who are kind of wondering if this is your first time. Actually, it is your first time. It's a beginner's guide that you're playing this game. I believe that's it over there. That you are playing this for the first time. There is no HOTAS at all. No HOTAS connections for anything. So you're generally just playing this with a controller or a mouse and keyboard flying. Almost reaching our destination. Whoa. Um, this was actually unexpected. So this is actually kind of a cool thing to put into the guide. You will experience anomalies and eventually, ooh, I, I can't even find the marker. You're gonna experience space whales. I, I, I can't see it. It's there, I see the marker. Oh, oh, there it is in the bottom too. Oh, it's right there. This is actually kind of cool. We'll go through this little scene because, well, this will happen from time to time. Oh, your intercom, actually. You'll hit X, that will pop up, Starship Communicator, and you'll press it, and you can speak with another ship, or with, in, well, this is a frigate, <laughs> as well. So you'll be able to speak and communicate with other ships, other frigates, and other anomalous things that you'll find within space. Let's see, I think this might put us on, expect a new traveler. We'll go ahead and hang on <laughs> to this little part, and then we'll, We'll wrap it up here. Inspect the creature. There'll be a bunch of questions that it's going to ask you. Oh, actually, no. If you've already been through it, then it won't ask you any questions. And I'll, I do have a guide on how to get frigates, how to get your first freighter. We'll go over that later. But for now, I just want you to focus on the basics of flying. This is Azerath. And I'll see you in the next episode for the Beginner's Guide. Go beyond traveling. <laughs>